Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, president of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about using Texture Anarchy to create textures for 3D Invigorator. They are two great plugins that uh, taste great together. So uh, let's dive into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is use Texture Anarchy to create some textures. And so we do that by having a blank document. In this case, it's 600 pixels by 600 pixels. Normally, you might want it to be a little bit larger than that. But either way, uh, create a blank document, go up to Filter, go up to Digital Anarchy, and go to Texture Anarchy Explorer, and we'll open that up. And you can see by default that it starts off with a texture here. We can select from the preset textures by clicking on the square with a circle in it. And you can see all the various textures that Texture Anarchy offers up. Here's the categories. You can scroll down, you can click on the categories to see the individual textures. But I'm actually okay with the texture that it came up with, kind of a rock type of texture. And so what we're gonna do is click on the check mark to go back out to Photoshop. We'll then save this file as a JPEG file. So when you bring up the Save As dialog, you want to change the format to JPEG. And then we can name this whatever we want. In this case, I'm just gonna name it Texture One. Incredibly original name. And we'll click Save. And one of the important things to remember when you're doing this is make sure you remember where you save it to. So in this case, I'm just saving it to my Macintosh desktop. Windows also has a desktop, or you can save it to some specific folder. But wherever you save it to, make sure you remember where it is. That's a pretty common tech support question that we get is people save these files out and then they don't remember where they put them. And so make sure you make a note of what folder you put the textures into. So again, this is on my Macintosh desktop and I'm going to save. And you can select the JPEG options. In this case, I'm going to save it at the maximum quality and we'll click OK. Now I'm going to save out another texture using a different filter from Texture Anarchy. So I'm going to go up to Filter and select Tiling Texture Anarchy. Now what Tiling Texture Anarchy does is allows you to create a texture that seamlessly tiles. That means if I put this edge up against this edge, you won't be able to see a seam. In the last texture that we created, if I tile that texture, you'll see the seams between the tiles but that's not gonna be the case for anything that I create within Tiling Texture Anarchy. So you'll see that if I scale this texture, instead of smoothly scaling up, it's gonna move in chunks. So the scale is gonna be a little bit different than what you would expect from a normal scale. But I'm not crazy about this pattern, so I'm gonna go into my Preset Manager again. Again, it's the circle with the square in it. That's our Preset Manager, and I'll click on that. And then I can go through my textures and find something that I like a little bit better. So let's select this. It's sort of a uh, mud-like texture. I'll double click on it. I'll bring it into the user interface. And I can click OK, again my check mark. And that will render this back out to Photoshop. And now again, I'm gonna do a Save As. And I'm gonna save this as Texture 2 in a fairly pedestrian name for my texture. And again, I'm gonna change it to a JPEG. I'm gonna save it out to the desktop and make sure that I make a note of where I've saved it to. And then click Save. And again, this will bring up the JPEG options and I'll click uh, Maximum File Size, the Maximum Quality, and click OK. And we're good to go with our textures. So now let's go into 3D Invigorator. You can see that I have a new blank document here in Photoshop. So I'm gonna go up to my filter menu, go to Zaxworks and select 3D Invigorator. And I'm gonna create 3D text. And we're gonna use, uh, let's use the word anarchy because we're kind of a fan of anarchy over here at Digital Anarchy. Probably somewhat unsurprising. And I'll adjust my uh, UI to fit the screen here. 
Okay, so the first step that we're going to do is create a material in the material editor. And you can see that we already have a new material here. And I'm going to click on this little picture icon. And that's going to bring up a file browser. And I'm going to go to my desktop because, as you remember, that's where I saved my JPEG textures. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom because I named them Texture 1 and Texture 2. And in this case, I'm going to grab Texture 1. And we're going to open that up. You can see in the little material swatch that the preview takes on the texture of that JPEG image. And now we can save that. And I'm just going to name it as Texture 1. And go to my Material Commands and Save Material to Bin. Now this is going to save it to my material swatches down here. You can see my material is already in here. But if you want to get this material onto our word here, onto our anarchy, we can either drag it directly from here, or we can drag it from the material swatches. Either or. It doesn't really make any difference. All you want to do is just drag this material onto our text, and the text will now take on that material. And so it's a very easy process of getting Texture Anarchy materials into 3D Invigorator. All you need to do is create a new material, click on the picture icon next to the color area, and that will allow the 3D Invigorator texture to take on the look of the texture that we created in Texture Anarchy. And now if we zoom in on this a little bit and do a preview render, we can see that our text now has a nice kind of stone texture on it and is taking on the texture that we created in Texture Anarchy. Now that's all well and good, but let's uh, create a new texture. So go to our Material Commands, New Material. And we're going to name this one Texture 2 because we're going to bring in the second texture that we created. So again, click on the picture icon. And again, we're going to go to our desktop because that's where we saved our materials. And click on Texture 2. And we're going to open that up. But let's also do the same thing for the bumpiness parameter. So I'm going to click on my picture icon again. Again, select Texture 2. And I'm going to use this to be a bump map. So we're going to crank this all the way up to 100. And this will add some roughness to my texture when I apply it to my text over here. And I'm going to save this. And now go down to Save Material to Bin. And you'll see it show up in my material swatches down here. But in this case, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I don't want the text to take on this material entirely. I just want to have it along the bevels here. I want the stone texture to be on the front, but I want my sort of mud texture to be around the sides. And so what I can do is drag my material from the material swatches or from the material editor. Again, either one doesn't make a difference. In this case, I'm just going to grab the material swatches. I'm going to bring, I'm going to, you can see that I now have a little ball on the end of the arrow, at the end of my cursor, and I'm going to move that over this number one ball that's already there. And you can see the sides turn red, and I drop my texture there, and now you can see that the sides of my text take on this mud texture. And we can do a render preview to see what that looks like. And so you can see now that I've got these two textures applied, I've got the stone material on the front of the text, and then the sort of mud-like material on the sides of it. But as you can see, it's very easy to bring in Texture Anarchy materials into 3D Invigorator and use them as materials for your 3D objects. Again, you just want to click on the picture icons, pull in the materials that you created in Texture Anarchy, and then use those to create a new material in the Material Editor. And then just drag and drop those materials onto your 3D objects, and you instantly have brand new and cool materials for your 3D objects. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We have a lot more information and other tutorials on our website. Just go to digitalanarchy.com. And I look forward to joining you in future tutorials.